Hello, and welcome Pokemon trainers, professors, and champions to another exciting episode of PokePax. I'm Royce, the Pastimes Pokemon, and today we are opening more Rebel Clash, because this set looks to be super cool, and we're, we'll see what we're going to get. Don't forget to follow Pastimes on Twitch and Discord, as well as like us on Facebook. If you would like to purchase singles, packs, or any other of our awesome products, uh, we are looking to get the new set, Rebel Clash, up tomorrow hopefully, uh, including the Pokemon singles. We'll have curbside pickup available uh, 2 to 6, Monday to Saturday. Uh, please call ahead. The number is 872-B-MAGIC. Again, 872-B-MAGIC. That's 872-236-2442. Do not forget to use code POKEMOM10 to get 10% off of your orders. That's POKEMOM10. P-O-K-E-M-O-M-10. All right, singles from Rebel Clash should be available tomorrow. I will put them up um, as soon as I can. I've got the ones from last time uh, that I haven't put up yet, uh, but we should get those uh, by tomorrow. All right, that is the intro. Let's open some cool packs. Yay! All righty, I've also decided today is trivia day. We're going to go into these guys first, because remember what happened last time? I pulled like a bunch of cool stuff. Um, but... We're just gonna start with this, but today's trivia day. So I've got a bunch of stuff that, uh... yeah, we all miss everybody's faces, Ron. Hi, we miss you too. It's been uh, it's been a difficult couple of weeks. All right, let's see what the promo is. Hey, it's Flapple. That's different from the what last was the time. One that we got like three of. Uh, Ipom? No, not Ipom. Um, it's orange. Applin. Fighter dude, I think. Applin. Okay. I think. Uh, but this was oh it was the other the other oh I meant the promo one yeah we did also get the different oh uh, yes apples. we did we did get the other uh, the other promo um, I've completely forgotten what it's called there's so many different Pokemon in fact there are roughly 900 different Pokemon if you are including the ones specific to different regions um, that does not include uh, the glitched Pokemon from the games but it does include uh, newer Pokemon like Cubfu Urshifu Calyrex and Zarude. Um, if that's how you pronounce it, but also does not include the two new legendary golems have not yet been released. I'm kind of hoping they make over a thousand. That would be super cool. All right, so we got Flapple here. I've got these four packs. Now, again, these are the pre-release kits, so you're going to get the 23 card evolution pack. That's this guy. As well as four packs of Sword and Shield Rebel Clash and a code card for the online game, which we will be handing out uh, at the end of the video. So I'm just hide that over there. All right, so this I'm hoping is a different pack than what I got the last time. So let's see what we've got. We've got Flapple. Here's a little Applin. The Truff, the Turfield Stadium. The stadiums are a big deal in this set because it's basically England. Just gonna keep going. Sonia, Milo. Again, the world's biggest 10 year old. Dan. Caterpie's back! Oh man, look at Caterpie. That's awesome. And Metapod, of course, because you can't just go straight to Butterfree, sadly. Um, oh, and now we've got Dark. So this would be a Dark Grass type um, deck if you were to build this one. All right, we've got Trubbish, Evolution Sense, Dan. Another Professor's Research, that's um, that's going to be popular in this set. The discard your hand, draw seven cards. Um, what's unfortunate is that you can't use this your first turn. That's just the thing that, that they're doing now. Um, they're getting rid of the first turn uh, supporters. Let's see what else we got. Impidimp. Impidimp, Impidimp, Impidimp. The Morgrim. And then the Grimmsnarl. I have discovered that I like dark Pokemon, and Grimmsnarl is pretty sweet. And Grimmsnarl, Grimmsnarl. All right. Cool stuff. I will hopefully have this available for sale uh, sometime soon, this particular promo, as well as the last one. Um, this is a really cool card, um, and it's got the Rubble Clash um, pre-release kit stamp on it. It's a pretty cool thing. All right, we're going to open packs, because that's what we're here for, right? Just to see what we get. I'm hoping this box ends up like the first one that I did last time. Remember that? That was crazy. Dude, that was that was crazy. I'm going to do this blind, by the way. I'm not doing this. I'm doing this blind this time, so we'll see what we get. All right, so we got really coley. Another stunky. Really? That's that's probably the one dark that I'm just like, nope, I don't care. Clefairy's cute. That's something. Did you know that Clefairy was actually going to be 
uh, the face of Pokemon. They were trying to get Clefairy to be... Over Pikachu? Over Pikachu, believe it or not. But I believe focus groups said, no, Pikachu's adorable, we're going to keep Pikachu. And so they said, okay. Yeah. Uh, another thing is that in the video games, the reason that there are starters versus Pikachu um, is because in the anime, they didn't want anyone to have the, uh, a, like a specific starter. They didn't want anyone to like the starter over... Um, uh, over over Pikachu, basically. Um, they they did or they did they wanted everybody to have you know all these three Pokemon are great. Don't choose one over the over the other two, um, and that's one of the reasons Pikachu is is sort of the face of Pokemon. All right, we got Voltorb, Nose Pass, another Impidimp. Really? Ah, this is the Reverse Hollow Impidimp. Cool stuff. Now this is a foil Chandelure, which is pretty shiny. Um, this is the rare in this pack. Uh, it's relatively pretty. Um, I like, like I said the last time, I love the foiling. Now that's the new, the new thing that they're doing. So let's see what else we get in this pack. Palpitoad, as well as another Morgrim, and a full heal. So that's something. Also, I'll take this time to shout out uh, Sinister Trousers on Twitch Prime. Thanks for the subscription. It really helps. Thank you, Trousers. Appreciate it. That's super cool. All right, we're going to keep going with this. And I'm just going to rattle off some cool facts that you guys probably didn't know. Uh, Gold and Silver were, were originally planned to be the last Pokemon games. Uh, but then because Gen 2 released, uh, the company, the Pokemon company realized it would be a better idea to continue making them. That would be a really, really bad decision if they had stopped. Um, super cool. Reverse hollow. Tranquil. And a secret rare Toxtricity VMAX, which is pretty sweet right now. Um, yeah, this bad boy is going to go up online hopefully later tonight. Uh, not only is that super pretty, but that's a really good card. I hope you can see it. That's... Uh, something else. I'm really excited for this this new set. I, I don't love Toxtricity, but man, this foiling is super cool. It's got a really cool texture to it. Uh, I hope you can see that. Uh, they do a really good job with, uh, with these sets. All right, so again, this is from a pre-release kit. All right, we're just gonna keep going with this. Masquerine, Hatrim, not Heatran, and Carcoal. All right, we're gonna keep going. So that's, that's pack number two out of this, uh, out of this box. Alrighty, so we, there's a bunch of really good cards in this set. Uh, I'm really excited to see uh, what else we can get out of here. Did I not get a code card in that one? What? Did I not get a code card? Dude, that's weird. That's very weird. That's, that's unusual. I hope I did. Oh no, that was the first one I put away. Never mind. Stuffle, coughing, another impotent. Maybe I should just make another dark deck. I uh, I finally cleaned my bedroom the other day, and I happened to find it's a pretty charger bug. I happened to find a uh, a Pokemon deck that I had no idea that I had. Uh, it happened to be something I for more Peko. Uh, it happened to be a um, horror energy. Uh, a deck with uh, Shaman, Shaman EX in it. So that was a, an older, uh, an older deck, and it wasn't the good Shaman, sadly, but it was still, uh, still something, right? We'll continue, and I'm also going to continue giving you some cool facts about Pokemon. So, do you know that Arceus may have been the oldest Pokemon, but the first Pokemon designed was actually Rhydon. That's why you'll find a lot of the statues of that, of that particular Pokemon in the games um, in honor of that standing. So if you're wondering why there's a bunch of random Rhydons in the video games, uh, that's why, because he was the first, uh, uh, the first Pokemon designed. Hi, Joe. How's it going? Everybody's hey there, cool. Hey there, Victorque also. Yes, hello. So not, so, I don't think that's Joe. Baby Yoda? That's not Joe? Never mind. My bad. <laughs> Hello, whoever you are. I'm so sorry. Baby Yoda. Baby that's Yoda. All right, so that's the first one. And I didn't get a whole heck of a lot of good stuff in there. But, dude, Toxtricity? That's that's uh, that's pretty nice. That's, that's something. 
Yes. All right, so let's see what we get in the second box here. Up, up, up. <laughs> Dang it. I'm just, I'm just not great today. This is just kind of a thing. Let's see what we get. Actually, let's see what's in you this. You said there's uh, four total possibilities? There are four total possibilities. One of them. You've gotten two of them now. Yeah, one of them is supposed to be really good, and the other three are, you know, kind of eh. Um, Did we get the S? Uh, I don't know, actually. I haven't looked these up yet. But we got Flapple, Applin, Stadium, Sonia, Milo, Dan, Caterpie, Caterpie, Metapod, Metapod, Butterfree, Butterfree, Carcol, Rolly Coley, Quickball, Sonia, Hop, Barboach, which is the Whiskers Pokemon. Sure. I guess it's supposed to be a catfish. I'm not really sure. Um... A lot That's of fish. fish. That's a catfish. It's a lot of fish. It's a lot of fish. A lot of bugs, which is fine. I just don't like bugs. That's what I get. All right, so we're gonna open these guys now. All right, another fun fact for you: Pikachu's name is actually an onomatopoeia for "sparkle, sparkle." Pika, pika <laughs> means sparkle, sparkle. I'm not kidding. Uh, and the the noise a mouse makes, which is "chew," which I mean, makes sense, right? Uh, and psychic type weaknesses, speaking of, of bugs, are based on actual fears. Bug type, ghost type, and dark types are uh, psychic type weaknesses specifically to, due to normal fears. Um, I just think that's a super cool... Why is this psychic? It's a sand castle. But um, it's all good. Uh, so another thing is that um, Wizards of the Coast originally printed Pokemon cards in America, but unfortunately they lost the license to print them in 2003 due to a, a, a lawsuit involving licensing. Um, lawsuits aren't fun. Let's put it that way. It was it was undisclosed what the um, what the actual amount was or what had happened exactly, but uh, it was kind of a serious thing, uh, and because of that, one of those reasons. As you'll notice that Abra evolves to, into Kadabra, which in turn evolves into Alakazam, but as of 2003, Kadabra has only been printed on seven cards total since base set, uh, which is actually due to Yuri Geller claiming the name is copyright infringement. Um, that's kind of cool looking. Uh, the last set Kadabra was printed in was Sky Ridge. Ice Q is the rare in this pack. It's kind of cute. It's kind of silly looking. Um, but Kadabra is the Abra is the only Pokemon that have that uh, that has a baby form that evolves that can evolve directly into its normal form, or its final form. Excuse me. Heracross and Electrode. That was a pretty cool, pretty good pack. That wasn't that wasn't terrible. Um, but Ice Cube was kind of cute. <clears throat> Let's see what we get in this one. He's fighting for some reason. I don't see why he's not metal, because of what he evolves into. I don't understand. Isn't he stone? Yes. <laughs> but you'd think he'd be, you'd think. Coughing, Bronzor, Toxel, which is again, adorable, but it turns into Toxtricity, right? Just, oh man. And then, hey! A oh, Malamar V, yeah. another one. That's got, super we cool. Got, we got the, the two versions last time. Yes, that's right. And we we do. I think we already got this one. Um, but this is super cool. But man, look at that foiling. That foiling's super nice. It's glossy. It's very glossy. It's very pretty. He's also gonna go there. And then we're gonna finish this uh, Speed Energy, Metapod, and Heliolisk. We're just gonna keep going. A lot of people have asked me, um, you know, what's the most expensive Pokemon card? Um, and that's a really kind of a weird question um, because for the most part, hang on, it's hard to tell. It's really what people want to spend on the cards themselves. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, it's Charizard base set. And I'm like, there's four of those, which one? Because honestly, one of them is worth a lot more than the others, um, but you have to find it. It's a cool chandelier again. Um, you know, in decent condition, and it's really just what, pe what people want to spend on it. Um, I love Morpeko. 
<laughs> I think that's super cute. All right, so that's the, the first two that I've got there. Um, that's the pre-release kits, and now I'm gonna open another one of these guys. This is gonna be fun. Here we go. Uh, we will have more of this product available tomorrow. I do have a couple more of these boxes. Um, we do have plenty more pre-release kits where these two came from, so, I mean, judging by these two and then what I pulled the last time, I mean, that's not, that's pretty good. Honestly, that was a, there was a very rare chance of me getting that full art uh, boss's orders. All right, let's just, you know, go. Now, normally uh, I would mix these up for personal consumption. Uh, if you were to purchase these at the store, um, let's get that out of the shot. Uh, you would, you know, you'd never know what you're gonna get. Another Magikarp, another Metatite, Milcree, Growlithe, it's kind of a cool Vullaby, Reverse Hollow. Whoop! That's super cool. That is the rare of this pack. Energy Stream, uh, does Energy Stream and Smashing Edge, those aren't terrible, and it's that art. Man, that art is pretty cool, he looks pretty sweet. Uh, these are apparently in the games, they are, um, they're statues and they're not, this is their like, quote, evolved form, unquote. This is not like, um, this is not like how you meet them. Uh, they get called in times of, of, uh, of distress and stuff. And, uh, apparently that's what, uh, that's what they turn into once they, I'm actually not sure what, what makes them turn into that, but into, the, into their final forms. Um, I'm hoping we also get the theme decks tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna try and get those as soon as we can. We didn't get them yet, but uh, like I said, we do have plenty of pre-release kits for you to purchase. Uh, those will be going for 20 bucks, and then everything that I had in our last, uh, our last stream will be available for purchase as well, or at least it should be if it isn't, let me know. Uh, my email should be, that was kind of a messy pack. My email should be in the stream. We should have everything there. So, uh, I think, like, one of the most expensive Pokemon cards ever uh, was the uh, the Pokemon Illustrator card. It was only printed in Japan. Only 39 were originally released. They can go up for up $20,000 at auction. Uh, they're, they're pretty insane. Uh, it's unknown how many are currently in circulation, uh, but it's really just a matter of how much you're willing to spend. See what we get. Oh, I got something in here. I got something in this pack. That's actually a really cool reverse hollow for a capricious bucket. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then. Ooh. Yay! Nine tails again. Super sweet. Shiny eyes. Yes, I love the way they they print these cards. I said in the last uh, the last video that uh, how they print them is super cool because they print on top of the foiling. Um, that's how you know that it's a real card. Uh, if the whole thing were foil. Um, it would be fake. I, I have found many, many a fake card that unfortunately kids have tried to sell to us and, um, yeah, it doesn't go over well, unfortunately. I once had to tell a kid, um, on his birthday, <laughs> unfortunately, that uh, a lot of the cards he had were fake. Uh, I don't think he was trying to sell them to me, but I, I really hope he wasn't. I'm hoping there's something good in this pack. Happy birthday, kid! Welcome to the real world. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, there's that's cool. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of places out there that'll, you know, they they they're not really gonna cheat you, but it's not a it's not a good thing. Um, I uh, ooh, a colossal, which is the rare in this pack. That's super cool. So what I found a lot of people saying is that. Uh, uh, they get packs at the dollar store, at like Dollar Tree, that tend to be pretty good. Um, I can neither confirm nor deny, but uh, whatever you do, don't go to a big box store, because, well, not that you can anymore, really, um, because they have a tendency, people have a tendency of um, opening the boxes and, um, you know, and resealing them. It's not a it's not a good thing. I've, I've had many a person tell me that... Um, they, they went and spent money at big box stores and got not good things. It's a cute Shinx. Again, Shinx is one of my favorites, uh, uh, as long, uh, along with Luxray. 
think Luxray is super cool. Lampin that eventually turns into Chandelures. Mandibuzz. Another Speed Energy. Another Polipper. And another Psychic Palisand. I, this, some of the typing makes no sense to me because this should be, shouldn't this be fighting? Shouldn't this be, no? Depends Palisand. on what he does. He absorbs super and sand sinks. He's it's, weak to fighting. It, well, because he's... I mean, he's, to be fair, like, if, if you saw a sand castle on the beach and you kicked it, that's kind of its weakness, right? His ground ghost. Uh, in the, in the, um, in the video game, correct? Not, not the card game. In the card game, it's just psychic. And also they've, they've, they've removed fairy. Fairy is now psychic. That's now a thing. The card's real type is ghost. That makes sense. That makes sense. But in terms of, like, the actual game you'd be using, um, psychic type. That's fair. I get that. That's fair. All right, so we are going to have curbside pickup again. Just a reminder, starting tomorrow at two o'clock, please call ahead. The number is 872-B-MAGIC. It is listed there on the screen, 872-236-2442, 872-B-MAGIC, B-E-M-A-G-I-C. So curbside pickup going up tomorrow, uh, please call ahead. All right, we're gonna continue with this. Squabbit, the squirrel. <laughs> Galarian Mr. Mime, which is ice now. Thank you for that update, Vic Torque. Uh, there are psychic and fighting palisons, which makes more sense. Um, uh, because <laughs> there's there's some types that just personally, I do not understand. Um, that's just what they decided to do. Um, I understand that they do have to, you know, manage to fit things into the game, but at the same time, a lot going on. Barboach. Another Aracuda. Super cool Arcanine. Reverse Hollow here. Which is super cool. The Galarian Darmanitan. Which I think is adorable. Um, I think that's a super cool card. Super cool art. Lampent. Howlucha. And a Morgrim. Um, this is another pack where a... Uh, a trainer card was not entered. That just happens. That is not, there's nothing wrong with your pack. That's just a thing that happens. Just how they, how they want to put stuff together, I suppose. There's a lot of cool Pokemon. There's a lot of cool ideas. But over 900 of them. Apparently. Exactly. Uh, if you're counting all of them, every single one that's, uh, uh, even the, the, uh, the actual types that go to specific areas, uh, Oh my goodness, my brain is just not working today. Man, it's weather, right? That's what I get. All right, we're just gonna keep going. Reverse hollow school of it. Whiskash, other energy, Lampent, Medicham, and Beware. And again, yet another pack where there's not a trainer. That's just a thing that happens. I'm not sure why they decided to do it that way, but, um, You'll notice that. Oops. <laughs> well, that was a good pack. You'll notice that so far I've only gotten, I've only gotten one good thing, relatively, out of this, out of this box. Uh, that doesn't mean that there's nothing else bad in here. I may just have to keep going. Um, Sandigast, Roly Coly, yeah, Stunky, Clefairy. That was supposed to be the face of the, the entire game. How would, how would that have been weird? Detective Clefairy, instead of Detective Pikachu. <laughs> That would have been interesting, um, considering uh, in the video games he's got this manly, manly voice. That would have been very interesting for just sure Ryan Reynolds could voice Clefairy fine. <laughs> oh, he would have done it anyway. <laughs> I mean, up. Oh, that's the rare in this pack is the Vicavolt, shiny, shiny. Vicavolt. It's kind of cool. That's that's actually a really cool foil. I like that. Carcoal, Hatrem, and another Pokeball. This is the only trainer in here. That's something. Um, a lot of these cards um, will not be up for sale yet. I'm mostly just going to put up the, uh, the the big ones here. I'm going to try and get everything in there, everything online, hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, and the actual packs and deck boxes are tomorrow, correct? Yes. Uh, once we get those in, that should be posted. Uh, we'll let you know if we get those. I hope to 
shoot me an email. I'll let you know. Uh, again, my email is Royce at pastimes.net. Uh, it should be there on the banner. The wingle, super cool. Reverse hollow. Sigilyph, which I've never understood personally. Um, Isn't he like a totem? Yeah, him and, and Natu and Zatu mm -hmm. are sort of the, the same. Another beware that hugs people to death. I think it's kind of a weird Pokemon. Um, also, why isn't this one fighting? Why is he normal type? Come on, guys. Although, I guess Cubfu and Urshifu, see, this one's like a Cubfu and Urshifu are the new are the new fighting types. Um, Cubfu, Urshifu, uh, Urshifu, Calyrex, and Zarud are the new legendaries. I'm not sure when those are going to be released uh, in card form. Um, Nothing about that Pokemon is normal. Yeah. Well, hold on now. I'm going to defend yeah, it because he's why? a bear, right? So he, it's normal for him to do a bear hug. Like, that's just in his nature. So I feel like but he looks, that's why he's normal. The problem with with, uh, with Beware and, uh, and Stuffle is that they're supposed to look like... Um, stuffed bears. Or like, like stuffed animals. Plants, yeah, and the yeah. fact that they hug you to death <laughs> is not a thing that I think they should be doing. I, I'm gonna agree with with trousers on here, <laughs> his left-handed trousersness. Um, we'll see what happens, but yeah, this is a uh, my, my question is why isn't he fighting? But uh, there's, see Bunnelby. Bunnelby makes sense. He's normal. He's a rabbit. <laughs> that makes sense. Milkree. Oh, it's wearing a headband. Dude. Ooh. Dude. Milkree. No. no, no, no. Um, uh, bear the bear hug dude has a headband. Uh, no, he does not. That's just his head. Oh. But, <laughs> that's but, that's head. Just, well, his head's a different color. His head is pink. Um, but yeah, scoop up that. Scoop up. Scoop up. This is actually a really cool card. Um, this does, uh, put one of your Pokemon that isn't a V or Pokemon GX in your hand, discard all attached cards. Basically what this means is that you don't have to pay, uh, to, to, uh, to remove your, to remove one of your cards. Uh, this is just a pretty cool card. It's also just really pretty. Like, it's an item it's a really cool all right that's gonna go over here um let me actually pull that back up i just want to make sure i'm not crazy and he's not wearing a headband Ooh, capture energy this um the people need to know royce well as long as this card is attached to pokemon it provides uh, colorless energy when you detach this card from your hand to a pokemon search your deck for a basic pokemon and put it onto your bench that's pretty good and charge a bug which eventually turns into vicavolt yeah i'm gonna go back and see is he wearing a headband? Where'd he go? Should be a little right up yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. Actually, that is a headband uh, around his head. That oh, I, I, I believe that those are his ears. Yeah, he's wearing like a he's bunny, wearing, bunny. He's wearing ear the bunny headband. ears. Yeah. yeah. Right. Stuffle's no better because Stuffle legitimately looks like a, a stuffed animal. And uh, all right, I'm yeah, back to being against. I'm back against Beware. Y yeah. I yeah. Anyway, moving on. Next uh, next pack. Scoop up, that's not bad. That's that. Uh, I hope to put that online as well. Right, let's see what else we got. So we're just gonna continue this. Check the website so you can scoop it up yourself. Mike, that was terrible. Mm. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna keep going. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I like doing this with you, Mike, because it's just <laughs> you got Scyther, Nose Pass, Wingle. Coughing, Bronzor, super cool Mandibuzz is the reverse hollow in this pack. Sizor, we've got a lot of first gen stuff in here too. It's pretty sweet. That nugget. Skuntank. I I don't. He, he's just got an, an emo mohawk of a tail there. Like it's just another Morpeko. I you know I just want to make an electric deck just of Morpekos. I know you can't do that, but come on, that's adorable. Or and, and add Boltund and have all that fun stuff. And maybe Tapu Koko, because Electric's pretty good right now. Um, electric, Fire, and um, we will see what happens in the meta. This is a bunch of cool stuff, a bunch of new new Pokemon. Um, now because the, the way that Pokemon uh, releases their products, this set will not be in standard for another three weeks, from what I understand. Um, I'm not sure why exactly they do that, but um, Garbodor. Um, 
we we get like a testing phase before it becomes before it gets put in standard. See this this pack had two trainers in it. Again, just a thing that happens. Um, trainers aren't super expensive unless you want you know this guy. I'm gonna keep going because the thing with magic is that oops, magic sets the day that they're released they are in standard, um, but with Pokemon it's different. With Pokemon, it, you have to wait three weeks. Um, I believe it's just for for testing purposes. I'm not sure. Uh, prices are going to fluctuate. We'll see what happens. Um, but get it, get these cards before they're gone. Um, Toxtricity, which is not my favorite, but it's a pretty card. Yeah, I guess I'm starting to like him. Seismitoad, Energy, Sonia, Flipper, and Bronzong. Keep going. Gotta keep going. Oh, and again, do not forget to use Pokemon 10 on your order to get 10% off. That's uh, Pokemon with an M, 10. Because I am the pastimes Pokemon. All right, Vulpix, which is adorable. I'm a little upset that you can't evolve Ninetales V into, or evolve Vulpix into Ninetales V. I think that's kind of a lost cause here. Coughing. Shinx, yay Shinx. This is, I believe, is a different Shinx? I wonder if that's a different Shinx. If they did, uh, if they did that thing again where they had multiple multiple commons mm. in the same in the same thing. Applin, Carcoal. Yep. Oh, this boy. This is the rare in this pack. Um, and I pulled the secret rare. Excuse me, the, the full art the last time, uh, which is pretty cool. Honestly, this is right now one of the most expensive cards in the set for the full art. Uh, the secret rare is even more expensive because it's the secret rare, it's harder to find. Um, and I'm hoping I really want to pull that because I want to see what it looks like because I don't think the, the images are up on, on uh, TCG player yet, but uh, we'll see what happens. Durant and Electrode. Gonna keep going. Now, I personally haven't played the video games yet. I've been told very good things, but um, has anybody else had any fun getting super cool? What do the shinies look like? Are the shinies pretty? Man, I hope the shinies are pretty. That's all I can hope for, because the shinies are like my favorite thing. Um, shiny Embryon. Man, I love me some shiny Embryon. Timple. Vullaby. Oh, I got something in here. Galarian Corsola. Toxel again. Binnacle, which is the reverse hollow. And then Ooh. Oh, sweet. Again, yeah. Again, another Malamar V Max, the full art. Sweet, that that's funny. cool. Another one of those guys. Um, I'm not sure what the, the pull rate on this set is, but uh, it's pretty it's pretty cool. Also, let's check out the different art styles. <laughs> Just I I like the Lexio personally. Oops. This guy turns into one of the scariest Pokemon around. I don't know. I don't get it. It wants to be a, um, a wishy-washy but it's like the lizard form uh, and it's got uh, it's it's like a wishy-washy mashed with a salazzle and it's not my favorite thing a tranquil that's the end of that pack i think it's interesting that i've pulled a couple of malamars already um but man that that toxtricity is really pretty that's a really cool card let's see what else we get here next pack a trubbish pite of Helioptile, Voltorb, Sandigas, which turns into Palisand. Really sad looking Temple, in all honesty, considering he's got a, uh, he's got a reverse hollow here. You'd think he'd be happy. Another Toxtricity. Electrode, Zatu, and Lombre. I don't know what he's doing in this photo, but uh, he's having a good time. Dancing? Dancing, clearly. He's, he turns into Lumicolo. Anyone else notice that there weren't very many uh, middle evolutions in Detective Pikachu? Just thought that was an interesting. Like, we, we got Charmander and Charizard, but we didn't get Charmeleon. Nobody likes the middle evolution. I like Charmeleon! <laughs> Shush. Alright. Just a, just a thing to, to look out for. The new... Uh, uh, what's it called? The new movie releases this summer. Um, that's going to be a cool... Cool thing to see. Farfetch'd. Galarian Farfetch'd. Cool Scyther. 
Ooh, Luxray. Luxray was the one that we pulled in the yeah, that's the right. pre-release kits. Um, yeah, this one's super cool. Yeah, Luxio is pretty sweet, honestly, and that's the middle evolution. Shinx turns into Luxio, turns into Luxray. Um, and this is, like, super cool foiling, in my opinion. I think it's a cool thing they're doing. Metapod, Burning Scarf, and Oleana. There's some pretty good stuff in the set. I mean, there's a whole bunch of, you know, fun stuff to look forward to for, uh, for new standard. I'm wondering what's going to happen with... Um, with the new meta, uh, with fire types and all that. I like most of oh, I got something in here. Electabuzz. Was Electabuzz originally... Was Electabuzz originally a common? I thought it was an uncommon. Orig like, originally, way back in the day. Or am I thinking of a different one? Probably. Or no, I thought he was rare. I think. Was he? Or, I don't know. Well, now he's a common, so it's irrelevant. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Aww, look at that! That's so cool! It's an ice cube V. That's so cute, look at that. That's adorable. What does he do? What if this po whenever you attach a, a water energy card from your hand to this Pokemon during your turn, heal 30 damage from it. Dude, that's, that's pretty sweet, honestly. That's just his ability. Um, and Blizzard, which is for two water and a colorless is uh, 120 damage this attack also does 10 damage to each of your opponent's benched pokemon i mean that's not bad honestly that's that's pretty sweet it's not gonna you know knock out a pokemon but it's it's gonna you know do some damage to their bench especially if they've got basics down there you're gonna go right here all right another burning scarf an indd and another skyla skyla's been in for a bit now Gonna keep going. All right, maybe this box isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Cause I was afraid the last box wasn't great. There's something in this pack too, um, but we'll see. We'll see what we get. Another Phantom, Bronzor, and then Magmar. Maybe it was Magmar that I thought was a an uncommon. And then up, up, up. Your boy. This is the guy, this guy right here. Oh, he fires them. He fire. Those are the okay. missiles. He's got missiles. See that guy closer. Yeah. He, he's got he's got missiles, magic missiles. <laughs> that's a uh, that's the new hotness. I I do not like the way that he looks at you though. That's a yeah, little that's a weird smug little, look. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna live down here. <laughs> All right, gotta keep going. Capture energy, charge a bug, and a shuckle. We've got several uh, turtle Pokemon, and admittedly, Shuckle versus like, um, what's that Pokemon? It was water and, it was water fire and I can't remember his name, um, but I believe he was a legendary about 10 years back. I don't, somebody, somebody bring up his name because I've completely forgotten what his name was. Um, but it's <laughs> Shuckle versus that Pokemon, that, that's no contest. Shuckle's gonna win. Cause Shuckle's adorable. All right, let's get you open. Another Shinx. Got another Shinx, another Shinx. Keep going. Roly Coly. <coughs> An Applin. Again, I'm not ill, I just have allergies. <laughs> I'm sorry if you hear me sniffling. It, this has not been a fun time for me. <laughs> been going through a lot of Kleenex. I'm not sick. I just have allergies. Man, this weather. It's a cool burning scarf. Reverse hollow. Oh, another boss's orders. Ooh, not terrible. I'm gonna keep going. That was the rare in this pack. Another beware. Sorry, Steve. Gonna keep going. Skyla. <clears throat> All right, so. Like I said, prices are going to fluctuate for the next couple weeks, um, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what people are using for their pack, or for their decks, and what people are collecting. Another Shinx. Jeez. Sandigast. Another Roly Coley. Yeah, thank you. I, you know, I and I've been taking my allergy <laughs> meds, and I just can't. Dude, man, I, ugh, it's awful. It's awful, because people stare at you when you go to the grocery store. Like, how dare you? And I'm like, I, I can't help it, you know? It's 
awful. Alright, another Clefairy. Dublade. Yup. Going through lots of Kleenex too, and considering Kleenex is now a, a commodity. Alright, I got something, I got something, I got something. What do I get? Yo, it's a double! Whoa. Look at that! It's that's a fluffy what, boy. That's what a Wooloo evolves into. Although this is a V card, so it's irrelevant. But it's a this is the um uh the V full art. So it's got a texture. They did not make secret rare V's, they made secret rare V Maxes. There's a full art V Max and a secret rare V Max, and then a regular V and a full art V. I know that sounds confusing, but it's just a rarity thing. And come on, this is a super sweet card, man. Look at that. Can I zoom in? That's super cool. You can't see it very well, but, like, trust me, the art's cool. You're gonna live. You're gonna live right there. Yay! Keep going. Okay, maybe this, maybe this, uh, this box wasn't terrible after all. I mean, not that they're terrible at all, but, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you think? That's a menacing sheep. It's, uh, the Wooloo is, like, super popular. Um, look at that face. Look at that face. An angry boy. I don't think it ever evolved the Wooloo. Well, the other, to be fair, the other one is called Revenge Blast, which does sound pretty menacing. This attack does 30 more damage for each, yeah, each prize, prize card your opponent has. Oh, that's the, for 120. And then takes 30 less from tax. Jeez. And it's a uh, it's a colorless too. That's that's pretty. That's something. That is something. All right, we're gonna keep going. Eh. Glaring for fetched. Glaring meowth, which turns into a Perserker, because of course it does. I'm wondering what would happen if you tried to breed a Galarian Meowth with a regular Meowth. Excuse me, with an Alolan Meowth. Like, what would you... Let's not think about that. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Yes, that makes that makes sense. Um, the, the regular... But the regular... <clears throat> the, the reason I'm calling it a Fuller is because it has a texture. That's... To, to differentiate it um, fr from the from the secret rare for the rainbow, that's that's just my personal thing. I get that. Um, I I hope that I did not confuse anyone. Um, thank you for the update. Um, but yeah, that's that's just a thing they're doing. Hey, Trevenant's in this set. Check it out. Trevenant's super cool. Also, he's not dark. He's grass. All right, I'm gonna go with that. Or not psychic. He's not psychic. He's grass in this set. Masquerain and Hatram. Yet another. One Sonia in this pack. All right, we're getting there. We're gonna continue going. Um, and I know that I've put a bunch of stuff from. Um, I've put up V and V Maxes from Sword and Shield. They should be on the website. Uh, if you don't find them, let me know. Um, but they should be up. Hopefully today. I posted them last night. Um, hopefully they'll be up, and I'm hoping to get this done by later tonight. So we got Galarian Yask, Sorskit, Stuffle, which he doesn't have a headband. Those are just his ears. He kind of does. Or, yeah, those are just his ears. Not, yeah. I don't know. Tackle does 10, 10 damage, because of course it does. Coughing. Oh, I got something. I got something. Impidimp. Skuntank again, and, and, and. Ooh. Yo, another one of these boys. That's super sweet. So, okay, so uh, what Vic Torque is saying um, is this is the regular VMAX. Uh, the only reason, like I said, as I'm calling it a fuller is because it has a texture. Um, this is different from the regular V cards because those don't have a texture, um, but we have a full art, full art V, this one, and then full art VMAX, if that makes sense. Um, because it used to be with GXs, you had GXs and EXs actually. You had full arts, um, and then you had secret full arts like Toxtricity. It's just they're just doing a rarity thing. You're gonna live down here. It's just a thing that they're doing. Um, yeah, but thank you, thank you, Victor, for for bringing that up. Uh, Durant, which is a basic electrode, and a tool scrapper. We're getting there. A lot of packs. It's 36 packs in a booster box and six booster boxes in a case. So that's a it's a pretty big thing. It's a lot of cards. A lot of cards go through. They're all getting opened right now. Yes, they are. All of them. Not all of them. I lied. We've got plenty more where these came from. 
Super cute Vulpix. Another Milkree. Reverse Hollow Stuffle, which it's all right. Shiny. Shiny. That's something. He's, he's not. He's not a shiny, but the card is shiny. Mm -hmm. All right, another uh, another Garbodor, which is the rare in this pack. Charge a bug, Scun Tank, and a full heal. These are necessary. Trust me, full heals are awesome. These guys, um, you're gonna need these in a deck. Um, it's it's a pretty good thing to to to, uh, to have. Um, Do you think that would cure your allergies? Man, if only. <laughs> if only we had that, Mike. If only we lived in the world of Pokemon, where allergies aren't I mean, a thing. You can't like, be allergic to Pokemon. Isn't Nasonex kind of the, the full heal of IRL for that? It's also a spray. So they're going to sponsor us now? Is that what you're trying to say? You're going to try to get Hopefully, sponsorship yeah. here? I'm down. Uh, so Binnacle is the two-handed two Pokemon. Sure. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Barnacle. Barnacle. Binnacle Barnacle. Sure. Bullaby, uh, a Dreepy. Creepy Dreepy. I'm, I, if I ever get one in the game, I'm just gonna call it Creepy, because that's spoopy. A Reverse Hollow Lombra who's dancing, I guess? Another Toxtricity. Energy. Zatu, who evolves from Natu, because, yes. Another Lombra, which is the, the regular, not the Reverse Hollow. And a Galar Mine. Can somebody explain to me what a stadium is and why you would want this? Just out of curiosity. That would be great. Um, I'm not entirely sure, because this is the one, the retreat cost of both active Pokemon is two colorless more. I'm not sure what that would. I guess you're kind of forcing them to stay in the game. As somebody who doesn't, I haven't played Pokemon since right. what, like 99? When since did it, it come released? Out? Yeah. Uh, Poke so Pokemon the video game has been around since 1996. The, the card game has been around since 99, um, because again, licensing. Um, Thanks, Watsy. Uh, but yeah, they're actually both headquartered in uh, in Seattle, the Pokemon Company International and uh, Wizards of the Coast, which I think is funny. Um, all right, Lotad, I got something. Clefairy, Boltorb, Growlithe, <sighs> Creepy Dreepy, Reverse Hollow Magikarp. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. And then, sweet, another Cinderace. That's super cool. Like that's that's really pretty. I love down here, underneath for the boom. I think some of the names are silly. Honestly, Palpitoad, Scoop Up Net, and Chatot. Not the good Scoop Up Net though. No, no, that's this boy. That's that's that guy. Alrighty. And again, we're gonna show you uh, the code cards at the very end of the video. Just making sure that you guys know that so we can get uh, get more people playing online. Because the online game is a lot of fun. Um, I haven't played it very much, but it's, uh, like I said, I've got anxiety and I'd like to actually see my opponent. You know, that'd be nice and just say hi. Um, and, you know, maybe get some tips. That'd be cool, but, but no, we have to play online, unfortunately. Um, uh, my friends and I have been streaming on Tabletop Simulator. That's been fun. Um, we've been playing a lot of Mista likes puzzle games. Um, for, you know, just to have something to do. And because unfortunately we can't play board games, but um, all the games that we have been playing on TTS, Tabletop Simulator, uh, have been games that we own. So that's once, once this is over, we're going to go back to playing, you know, with each other. You know, hanging out having some food, having dinner, and playing games. You know, and I'd love to play Pokemon. Uh, I think that would be a really fun, really fun thing. Super cool Ninetales, in my opinion. Not as cool as the V-Card, but, you know, it's something. Um, and this one you do have to evolve, because V-Cards you don't. Um, V-Max cards you do, but... Alrighty, we're gonna continue on. And thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. This is, you know, this, we always have a lot of fun doing these these openings. These are super cool. Uh, just get to see what you know we, what we can get. I understand that that uh, our coworker Davis is going to be uh, opening magic sets too. Do we know when that's going to be? Uh, I believe on Monday. Cool. That's super cool. 
Cramorant is an interesting one because there's two different versions of Cramorant. Uh, one, he's got a fish in his mouth, which I believe is... I think it's it's not Wishcash. It's the one before that. It's the, the de-evolution of that. Or a Pikachu. He's eating a Pikachu. Oh, uh, boy. In the video game, if you were to do a specific um, a specific move, he would choke on the Pikachu, spit him out. The Pikachu's fine, by the way, uh, and then do damage with the Pikachu. The uh, the actual move is he uh, he creates a, a tsunami, and uh, at the end of it, he chokes on the Pikachu and spits it out and does extra damage, which you know. Pokemon weird flex, weird. but okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hair cross and electric. And this is that's the trainer from that that pack. Getting through it. Scyther's still going here. Wasn't Scyther a, a, a hollow or something from like base set? From, I think so. From forever yeah. ago? That was a creepy droopy. Everybody's Becoming a thing now. First Hollow Metacham. The Perserker. Yeah. The Perserker. This is the the big one. This is the I don't know why he looks like that, but Perserker. That's a thing. Twin energy. This is gonna be the new double colorless. We'll see what happens. Heliolisk and Dublade. Now, in the in previous sets, there have been attempts to do other different energies. Um, triple acceleration energy. I think that flopped. I'm not sure what's what's going on with that, but um, we'll see what happens in the new uh, in the new meta. Uh, there's still some banned cards, um, but there's the Aracuda. There's still some banned cards, specifically in uh, expanded, not standard. Lotad, Growlithe. Reverse Hollow Beware. Woo! Yeah! That's the rare in this pack. Yardos is super cool, man. Keep going, keep going. Horror Energy. Heat more, not Heatran. Another more Peko. Alright, we got five more packs. Five more packs. We can do this. I pulled some good stuff out of these. I'm really excited for, for all this cool stuff. Yeah, you saw that. You totally saw that. We're just gonna keep going. Haunted, which turns into Dublade. Litwick. Galarian Corsola. Another Binnacle. Galarian Yamask, and... Ooh. Boltund! It's your boy Boltund! Yeah! That makes me happy. He's so cute. The Doggo. Another Doggo. Not a legendary Doggo, but... an Oleana. He's something. Yes, these are gonna go. I'm gonna put these up. Hopefully, when we're done, they'll be available to purchase online um, as of next week. Hopefully. All right, Phantom and Galarian Farfetched, specifically Galarian. Now I'm wondering if if some of these Pokemon uh, if they go south for the winter. <laughs> like for instance, you get a mixture of of Farfetched. Another Snorlax, not the super cool one that you can get in the box for $14.99, but uh, you can also get the pin, but this guy's enjoying some apples, so that's something. Are they those apple Pokemon? Mike? <laughs> they aren't actually apples either. They're, uh, they're some other fruit, but uh, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Thank you, trousers. I don't know what that that other that like uh, that Applin? that other one was eating uh, Pikachu's like yeah Cramorant was eating a Pikachu's yeah. choking on a Pikachu. They've set the precedent. I mean, he does eat uh, he does eat fish. Yeah, I saw that when that released. I just went, he's eating a Pikachu. Why is he eating a Pikachu? <laughs> that's that's uh, that's something. All right, Barboach. An applin. So he wasn't actually eating an applin. I think he was actually eating another. It looks like another berry. That's that's uh, that's something, I guess. Applin, Timple, Trubbish. Poor Trubbish. I wonder if, if if Pokemon have accents too. Like if Trubbish is a British accent, or if he's Scottish, like that one trainer. Milo, who I still don't. I can't. Shuckle, 
and Luxio, which is just adorable. All right, last two packs, y'all. Let's do this. Tear it open. Ooh, Toxel, check it out. Doing a heckin' face. You got Toxel, another Applin. Galarian, Darumaka. Why do they make a Daruma Pokemon? Who knows? I guess if you roll it, it would be a Darumaki, but anyway. Daruma Maki? I don't Are know. Daruma those where you paint the eyes on yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it was also the name of a really, really good sushi place in Evanston that unfortunately closed about 15 years ago. Anyway. R.I.P. Daruma. Yeah. They had a bunch of Darumas in there, Our too. Our Daruma Memorial Stream. <laughs> Mike? <laughs> Just going to keep going. I should have asked. <laughs> Other Phalanx, not the Phalanx V or the VMAX, just a Phalanx. I don't even know if Phalanx has a VMAX, but um, yeah, this is the one that uh, if you if, if there are other V other Phalanx in its in your deck or in your bench or something, it does more damage or something, or in there in your opponent. I'm not sure what the actual specifics are. And again, we are setting up curbside pickup. Hopefully, we'll have that available uh, tomorrow. It's going to be running Monday through Saturday. From 2 to 6 p.m., please call ahead at 872-B-MAGIC. Again, 872-236-2442. Uh, um, use code POKEMOM10 at checkout to get 10% off your order. Um, or we can put it through for you at whenever. Just please call ahead. Uh, please just don't show up. We will let you know where to pick up. And um, hopefully you get some cool stuff. All right, last pack, guys. We got Meditite, Stunky, Grubbin, Wingle, Natu, Reverse Hollow Impidimp, Sizor, Energy, Luxio, this guy, sure, and a Bronzong. It's not terrible. It's not a terrible, not a terrible set. Not a terrible box. I got a whole bunch of cool stuff. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, there's some really good stuff in the set that I'm really excited to share with everybody. Um, and I'm hoping that our, our curbside, pickup ex curbside pickup actually works so we can, you know, get these to people. Um, Mike, if you would do the honors. Oh, codes. Uh-huh. We got codes for y'all. So right now, Rebel Clash is sitting, you know, pretty pretty well. Uh, there's a bunch of really good stuff in the set. Um, I was not expecting Boss's Order, this, the full art, to be that expensive, but and it, it has gone down in the past week. Um... And there's, there's a lot of good stuff that, you know, you could look out for that right now is over 10 bucks um, that you can pull. Um, a lot of the V cards are really popular. Uh, v is now, you know, the new hotness. Um, and like I said, I hope to have all these up online for everybody to take a look at and purchase um, later today. Uh, we've got, you know, a whole bunch of fun stuff going on. Uh, just to let you know, Mike, those are mixed in together with... Uh, uh, the seed, yeah. Just FYI, they're does mixed that, in. Does that matter? Do we try, I guess not. Should I look for one of those? No, that's fine. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah, and again, we should have the um, the build and battle kits, the pre-release kits available for purchase online, uh, hopefully by tomorrow. Uh, that's the new new set should be up. Um, that's right, the new set doesn't release till tomorrow. My bad. Uh, those, those should be ready to go uh, tomorrow. Um, I will send a note to... Everybody letting him know. Yeah, I pulled some really good stuff. I'm really happy with with all this. Um, the fact that I pulled the scoop up net, that's gonna be you know really cool. The toxicity, you know what? That's just great for uh, uh, what's this guy? That would be great for binder binder keep. It's a really pretty card. Um, we'll see if it you know how well it does in in uh, in the meta. Um, <laughs> I love that I pulled uh, Malamar and Malamar V again. I think that's really funny. Uh, Double. Man, that's super cool. Cinderace and Rillaboom. Heck yeah, the starters are great. Uh, I can't wait to see how those do. Boltund is going to be really popular. Um, and, you know, fire's still going, uh, although water should be good too, considering Ice Q is just a really cool Pokemon. Um, I'm not going to say anything about Dragapult. I don't like Dragapult. <laughs> I think that's, that's terrifying. Uh, but, yeah, I got some cool stuff, and um, hopefully we will be able to get this out to everybody. Um in the next couple weeks. Stay tuned.
Oh, I forgot the pro tip to cover the QR code. Well, oh. next one. That's fine. I assume it's so like no bots can just scoop him, scoop him up. I hope not. That would suck. That would be that would be a bad thing. Yes. <laughs> Boop. Yeah, Sword and Shield Rubble Clash. Uh, the pre-release kits and all the the pre-release kits should be available um, later this evening. Uh, if not, let me know. My email is there on the left. Um, and we should have the boxes and pre-release kits and singles and the other product available for purchase uh, on uh, on tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow's the first. They release the first. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we you know because of what's going on, we can't have any events. Uh, but you know you can absolutely have an event in your own home, and you get to keep the cards. It's a super fun, super fun set. Um, you know, build a bunch of different bunch of different decks, have fun, you know, and, co and collect. It's a lot to collect. Um, next time I'm on stream, I'm hoping to have a different set. Um, you know, we, we might do more, be doing more so Sword and Shield. Uh, we might do, we might do another Rebel Clash. We might have, um, you know, a completely different set. We might have uh, the set before that, Cosmic Eclipse. Is it the most recent set besides these two? I don't recall. But there's there's a lot of Pokemon out there, guys. There's over oh. 900, if you count all of them. Again, that doesn't include um, uh, Missing No, but it does include uh, Unown. There's a whole bunch of trivia out there uh, that's really cool about Pokemon. Um, I believe I said in my first video that uh, Pokemon was created because one of the designers uh, missed going out and uh, catching bugs. He <laughs> was going out, you know, and having fun in the forest and collecting and, you know, unfortunately because of of, uh, of urbanization, that's no longer a thing. Uh, and he missed doing that from when he was a kid. Thank you, Victorque. We love you. Yeah, Thank thanks, you thanks so for much by, for, for joining us. Um, I hope I'm doing all right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anxiety doesn't help, but uh, we're getting through this. We get, get sweet trivia, though, too. Yeah, we get some sweet trivia. Um, you know, we just take it one day at a time, y'all. This is just, you know, how we're going to live. Um, and uh, we're just going to keep going. Uh, Pre-release kits are going to be going for, I believe, $20. Uh, booster boxes will be uh, being sold for 110 uh, this is also plus tax. Uh, we do have, go check out my other stream from last week. Uh, we do have a lot of other product that will be for sale tomorrow. Uh, various price points. Um, the tins, for instance, will be $8.99. The, um, the pin collections will be $14.99. The big box, the tag team with my personal favorite, Umbreon, Booyah. Uh, the tag team collector's box is going to go for $49.99. And the prices on singles are going to fluctuate, so I'm going to keep tabs on that for the next couple weeks. Um, you know, hopefully they'll stabilize sometime soon. Uh, Mike's got one more code yeah, card. This one was the uh, one of the build and battle box ones. All right. I assume you get cooler stuff there, that's why I saved this one best for last. But check out those letters and a couple numbers in there too. Just throw them in there for variety. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, change things up. <laughs> And if you guys have any questions, you can uh, send shoot me a note on Facebook even. Uh, it's facebook.com slash oh knows it's Royce. Um, I hope you guys can find me. Otherwise, you can send me an email at royce at pastimes.net. Um, feel free to send me a note whenever. I may not respond immediately, but I'm definitely checking my email. Uh, we've got, you know, stuff going on. We are still here for you guys. If you just want to chat, if you just want to get more Pokemon trivia, shoot me a note. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we had a really good time. I got a whole bunch of cool stuff. I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Um, yeah, like and subscribe on uh, Twitch, Discord, and Facebook. And uh, we've got a whole bunch of cool stuff out for you. <laughs> Bye, everybody.